Howdy ho, my fellow fans of telekinesis and people who don't really believe in TK but watch the videos anyway and leave weird and disturbing comments. This is Trevor Seven, and I should seriously rethink this introduction. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have said something about putting the magic in the marker or something. But anyway, I want to show you this clip. This is kind of the clip that uh, that started it all, this one-handed pull. Ooh, yeah, it, it was awesome, all right, but I worked for it. <laughs> I'll tell you more about that here in a minute. But anyway, I want to show you this uh, target. This is a, an ordinary red magic marker, and I actually I carry it around in my tool belt, and I use it to mark on stuff that pencils don't work, and it's kind of beat up, and you can't really see it, but there's like ridges on the edge, and... It's kind of been dropped and smashed and all things. It doesn't roll very good. It writes, yeah, blue, what a doofus. But anyway, it's not a very good choice of a target, to tell you the truth. It, it doesn't roll very good and stuff. But And this isn't really going to be a target, but more of a sort of a training tool. That's just a piece of paper folded up, and that's a, a syringe needle. And uh, anyway, I'll tell you a little more about this. Uh, I, I was working on this. Uh, one night I was working like an all-nighter and I was working with all kinds of different things from spoons and screws and markers and cups and pencils and all sorts of things and I finally you know I got some pretty cool moves and stuff so I wanted I was trying to get used to filming myself because I was having a hard time having the camera in my workspace I was being subconscious about it so I was filming some stuff and I captured some good stuff but it wasn't anything I was consistent with it was just kind of hits and misses, you know, like a 20 minute clip for a two inch move and stuff. I just wasn't going to put people through watching, you know, so I just kind of kept some of the better parts of my practice session and put it in a folder uh, just kind of for my own personal enjoyment. Go back and watch it when I need inspiration and stuff. But as you see, I used some of these clips in my intro and a friend of mine and a guy I respect uh, said, man, that'd be cool if you worked some more with that red pin because, man, that, you know, that looks pretty awesome. So I put in some time here and and worked up a few moves and uh, I'm showing this clip in its entirety but basically you're just watching a what like a minute and a half of me staring at this thing and when you see the cheese spinner moving uh, that's not necessarily a good sign that's kind of a sign that I'm sending the wrong vibration or I'm sending it in the wrong direction but uh, I do get a few moves and I have to work with it and like I said this thing doesn't roll you'll see when it takes off roll it looks like it's got you know three flat tires and a drunk driver or something but uh, when you get this thing to move you've done something it looked like a handy target when I threw it out there, you know, and started messing with it. But anyway, here's a little success. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't no hands, but did a little projecting with my hands and uh, got a move. Here we go. There you go. Look at it. See how it's, <laughs> it's all broken down and stuff. But anyway, there, there's a, a one-handed push for you. And then... Uh, Here's another one again. I'm trying to be uh, casual about it. I've been talking, you know, I've been getting a lot of questions about people. You know, why is it sometimes uh, telekinesis works and sometimes it doesn't? Man, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. But I, I do know that when you try really hard, it kind of activates that left brain and kind of screws everything up. And you can see me, ooh, do you see that thing just wobbling? I mean, I'm really pushing that thing. I'm trying to do it no hands. That's what I'm trying to do. And, and uh, But anyway, back to my, what I was, my point. Um, when you, when you try real hard it doesn't necessarily help and you know wanting it to and wishing and all that stuff doesn't really help so if you just kind of make it game and, and, and be uh, uh, carefree about it sort of nonchalant see how my legs cross and kick back and I really act like I'm not really trying hard but you can see by the looks of that cheese spinner that <laughs> uh, I'm really trying my hardest but anyway here, here's another hand move There you go. Nice push. A little extra boost. All right. And here's the no hands. And, and like I said, this thing doesn't roll very good. And if you have it sitting wrong, it, it doesn't roll at all. And, and I'll tell you, I'm being honest. I've got this thing set in the most likely position where it will roll on its own right now. You know, I've got it like top heavy or whatever. But uh, I'm pushing it uh, telekinetically. And uh, yeah, the odds are stacked in my favor. But uh, then again, you know, any movement from a distance is telekinesis. So here we go. Here, here's a, a no hands push, and you can see that cheese spinner, you know, moving. This, I can tell I'm moving the energy. It's just not the right energy, or not in the right direction. But here we go. Here's the move.
All right. And, of course, a lot of that's just the natural momentum. Once I just got to kickstart the roll. But there you go. No hands. Magic marker. Okay, and here's a pull. I didn't... I, I wanted so badly to re to duplicate that pull I did that one nice long pull, but uh, 30 or 40 minutes into it, uh, I'm about ready to give up, you know. But here I do get a little no hands pull. Watch, it's subtle. It doesn't go far, but oh, do you see that? <laughs> All right, and this was funny. Uh, wasn't really trying. I thought I'm just going to do one of these. Just you know, I was about ready to shut her down. And look at that thing. I, I mean, the energy's just busting. And then, voila! Wasn't even trying to. Well, look at that. And I'm like, shoot, well, that was easy. Okay, done with that. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay, yeah, and then, I, like I said, I kind of got sick of working with that thing, and it's not the best target. So I, this is just a cap off of a butane, you know, refillable butane container thing. And uh, a little little more advice to people who are working with this. Um a lot of times when you're when you're working with something, if you're not having any success, that frustration and stuff works into it. And, and when that happens, there's a few things you can do. One thing you can either like if you're working with a cheese spinner and it just won't move, nudge it with your finger and just get a little motion and start influencing that motion. Or you can kind of just like uh, just kind of clap your hands and and uh, stimulate the energy, get some energy moving in that room again. And and you know don't don't stare at a stagnant target for too long because boy I know how frustrating it gets. But see, there you go. Like I see I'm doing there. I just kind of clap my hands, get the energy, get things woke up a little bit. Uh, lo and behold, you know, there you go. Energy's flowing and, and things start moving. So there's a little tip for you guys. You know, don't let the stagnant target kill you. <laughs> Liven things up a little bit. Wake things up. All right. I appreciate you guys watching. This is Trevor Seven. God bless and namaste.